How's it going, everybody? Ed Ricker here with my friend Dart. How are you? Hello, Ed. How are you? Doing all right. You know, hey, we guys. just made a video a few minutes ago, and Dart had his maiden flight with the drone. He has never flown before until today, right? That's right. My first real drone lesson. So we did a dual controlling mode with the Mavic 2. You can check that out. It's a video that I just posted before this one. Um, and it kind of is a, a way that we can control one drone with two controllers and make it a safe training session for someone who's new like Dart. So I don't crash it. Yes, but now you have the Mavic Pro in your hand, the uh -oh. original Mavic Pro by DJI. This is the, the drone that kind of started my channel out a couple of years ago, and it's now going to be in the ownership of Dart. We're gonna teach Dart how to set up the Mavic Pro, so if you right. have a new Mavic Pro, then this video might uh, provide some insight. So I guess the first thing we gotta do is Unfold it. Okay. So we're gonna unfold the front props or the front right. arms first. I'm gonna pull this out like this. Now the bottom These legs fold, fold under. this way. Yep. Okay, like that. All right. And now look at the. Uh, spread these open. Yeah, spread yeah. Them. That 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 actually helps. Um, some people don't spread oh, them open, and right. sometimes just the centrifugal centrifugal force will open them up. But oh, I okay. I think that might be hard on the motor after okay. a, a while. Um, so now look at the, the camera gimbal. You see this plastic piece? Go ahead and um, take your finger right here and pry that up. Okay. Yep. All right, now you have a secondary gimbal piece right there. You see that plastic? Oh. Pinch the sides and then pull straight down. There you go. Nice. Now the gimbal's free. So then Dart has a micro SD card. What's the size of that? 16? Yes. Okay, cool. Now go ahead and um, flip the drone over. We're going to pop that SD card in right here. So go ahead and lift up that little latch. Okay. Yep. And then that SD card fits upside down. It almost looks like it's upside down. So it kind of fits upside down from what you think would fit. And then it kind of clicks in when you press it. Yep. Right. Go ahead and close that door. Okay. Now we're using a Freewell gear. Uh, landing pad here which really helps out with flattening the grass. You can see that we're going to be taking off in the grass but because of this pad we're flattening all the grass and so it's not going to get caught up in the motors of the props. Okay next up here's your controller. Okay. So you have your phone that's the iPhone 7 right? Yes. And we have your controller so go ahead and spread the arms those lower arms of the controller. All right. Just like so. Spread it up. <laughs> so we're going to be adding this little short micro USB to lightning cable attachment. Um, most of the Mavic Pros come with this standard already installed, but if you're using an Android device, you're gonna have to swap it out with whatever they give you in the package. So we have a lightning cable right there. It, it's kind of rubberized, which means that it's gonna hold your phone really nice and snug okay. in there. Nice. So you can see he's got the lightning cable pressed right in there to his phone from the controller arm. All right. And before we actually met out at the park, Dart installed the DJI Go 4 app on his phone just to kind of speed things up. Also because this Mavic is pre-owned, the firmware is all updated and everything, so we didn't have to go through that. We're just going to get started flying today. I do have a couple instructional videos on how to set up the drone from scratch if you do want to go through firmware setup and stuff like that. So we're going to drag this landing pad over here so that we're not directly underneath these trees. We're kind of underneath trees for the purpose of the video, but we're gonna get it out here. And I really do, I, I would suggest that either you take off on concrete or some flat surface or use a landing pad. We might be able to get the drone up here without a landing pad, but this tall grass is really gonna wreak havoc on our props. All right, Dart, so you have your controller here. I see you already have the DJI app booted up. So go ahead and on your controller, um, see that power button right there? Yep. Go ahead and press that once and then again and hold it. And you'll see the screen say connecting. Now do the same thing on the battery of the drone right here. There we go, that's good. And you'll see the drone calibrate itself and you'll see the gimbal kind of flop back and forth. It's going through its little calibration. And now it's ready to go. Now, Dart, you're going to have to create a DJI account. So go ahead and register. You're going to put your email address in and all of that. So Dart is creating his own DJI account, and that's going to enable him to uh, be able to sign in with his own credentials 
in the future whenever he wants to use this thing. All right, so now that the drone is on, your controller's on, and you have just uh, signed in with your new DJI account, yes. um, now let's go ahead and calibrate the drone's compass. And we do this every time we fly in a new spot. Okay, so up on the upper left, you see that it says height limit zone GPS, that whole area. Go ahead and click on that. And go see compass. Go ahead and hit calibrate. Calibrate compass, start calibration. So we're gonna do this every time we go to a new area um, where we fly and just make sure that our compass is gonna be calibrated. So let's go walk over the drone. Okay. And go ahead and lift it up and hold it horizontally. And then go ahead and spin around it. And you can see how Dart is orbiting the drone as he spins. The drone's not orbiting his body as he turns. Once it updates and says it's good, we're going to actually nose down the drone. Yep, there you go. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. He's gonna go 360 degrees. This is the most embarrassing part of any flight. <laughs> <laughs> and once it's done, it should say calibration complete. Calibration complete. Cool, go ahead and put it on the map. All right, now we've gone through a bunch of other calibrations. This being pre-owned by me, I have done some IMU calibrations. I've recently done a gimbal calibration, but those are other things that you could do. Um, let's make sure that your app is set up properly. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make some adjustments on your app. So go ahead on the right, upper right, you see those three dots? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and click that. And those are your general settings. Uh, measurement info is going to be in Imperial units, which is what we want here in the United States. Go ahead and hit that quadcopter icon at the upper left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so go ahead and scroll down. Um, return to home altitude. Make sure that's gonna be at something like 60 meters, and that's good. Okay. That's about 180 feet, and that means that when we return to home, you're going to be able to clear any trees or obstacles as you come along. Okay. Um, beginner mode is probably how a lot of drones will ship, but we have beginner mode off. We've already been through some, some, some uh, <laughs> so I'm not a beginner anymore? You're not a beginner anymore. All We've right. already done a video. Woo! We've gone through the flight basics yes! in the previous setup. But max flight altitude is 120 meters, which is good. That's um, about 400 feet, maybe just a little less than 400 feet. And the United States, that's as high as we can actually fly. So that's a good thing to have that set as max altitude. Mm -hmm. go, go back into those general settings. There you go. And uh, now on the left... Um, you see uh, the next one down is like a little sensor icon. Yep, there you go. Make sure that you have your visual obstacle avoidance turned on. Yes. You do, yes. and scroll through them all. Make sure that they're all on. Yep, good. Yep. Now on the left, go down to the battery icon. So a fifth from the top, second from the bottom. Right here. Battery icon. Right here. Yeah. Um, this is where you can set uh, where you want your low battery warning to start ch like chiming, like an alarm. I usually have mine at 15%, and that seems to be pretty good. Most drones, most Mavics ship at 25, but I think 15 is great for low battery warning. And just keep an eye on it, you know? Uh, go to gimbal settings. So that's the next one down, camera. Yep. And go to advanced settings. Right there. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And raise your gimbal pitch speed just a little bit. Go from it's 10 right now, make it like 20. Ish. Yeah, 20 ish. That's good. That's fine. Gimbal smoothness, bring that down just a little bit from 20 to maybe eh, 15. Okay, now you can hit the X on the upper right just to get out of everything. Now go into your camera settings. So that's that icon right there. You see those little switches, those little um, mm -hmm. levers? Now that's where you can toggle back and forth between auto and manual camera settings. We're in auto right now, that's fine. Um, go to the middle setting, however, the, the, the camera setting where you can actually pick your video size and format. Also, go ahead and we'll just drag, this is the histogram. I'm gonna drag that out of the way. We can use that for exposure and stuff, but for now we'll just keep it out of the way. Um, video size, what do you want to shoot in? Um. It's 1080. Okay, you're in 1080, you're 20. in 30 frames a second, is that all good? Cool. Cool. You can X out of that. White balance is sunny, that's good because we're outside and it's sunny. We're in NTSC um, versus PAL, we're in NTSC because we're mm -hmm. in uh, America. Yes. And then uh, video format, Local. MP4 or MOV, what do you want? MP4 is fine. Okay. And we're going to go over here and the last thing we're going to do, do you have any information on the SD card that you want to keep? No. Okay, we're going to scroll all the way down and hit format SD card. 
That way it's gonna be empty and we're gonna start from scratch and have a, we're gonna have an empty SD card. Now, file index mode. Here's another important thing. I go to continuous. If you go reset, every time you reformat your card, you'll be saving files as 0000, mm -hmm. 0001, and then when you're transferring to them to your computer, you run the risk of overwriting your old footage. Mm -hmm. Continuous will always count up indefinitely, and you're never gonna run the risk of overwriting footage with similarly named or exactly named files. Okay. All right, let's get out of that. We're gonna scoot our histogram over. That's just kind of like how we um, can determine exposure. I have a video on that, actually, I've made. We are good to go. Now, we've already right. went through some of the video tutorials earlier about how to fly. Yeah. Let's just get this thing off the ground. So go ahead. Okay. All right, so he's sliding to take off, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So the Mavic Pro flies again. Yeah. So as we know from the previous video, your throttle control is on the left thumbstick, so is your yaw, and then the right thumbstick um, controls your uh, forward and backward, left and right motion. Right. Now one thing we can do here as you're flying, I'm gonna do it for you, is see your antenna? Yeah. Move your antenna like that, okay. and that way the broad side of the antenna ah. is facing where the drone is, and that's the best signal reception. Okay. If you're flying over you, we would do this, but Right now, we'll do that. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, you've, you've got the, the hang of it, that's for sure. Same with the Mavic 2 that we flew in the last video. Your gimbal control is right here with your index finger. So go ahead and adjust the camera a little bit. There you go. Got the Raleigh skyline. Yeah. And you're in automatic camera mode, so that's why it's kind of auto-exposing for you. Right. Um, you can see uh, at the top of the app you have 50 minutes of recording left in your particular resolution that you've chosen and you also have 81 percent battery left um, now i do want to also show you um, the gps go ahead um, look at your screen there go ahead and tap on your map there you are and remember as before go ahead and you can actually pinch in um, you can see where you've gone okay but the green line indicates um, the direction that you need to go in order to come back home. H is home. So um, the way that the drone is turned right now, you see it's a little red triangle. That's the way it's pointing. And that is dependent on the compass. So that's why you calibrate the compass. That way it knows where it is north, south, east, west. It knows where it's at with GPS in terms of placement through space. But for it to know which way it's pointing, but that is dependent on a good, a well-calibrated compass. So he's bringing it back. Okay, so you're turning, I see. Again, check out the previous video where we went through some of these basics already. There it is. Nice. Yeah, Darts Maiden. Maiden voyage with the <laughs> Mavic Pro. So Dar, I want to explain a few things that I'm also going to be giving you. Um, okay. A, a few things that I've reviewed in the past that will help you in the future. So let's take this over. Now there are aftermarket Mavic Pro gimbal clamps. This is the original one though, and I, I still use it. Um, to put it back on, take two fingers, slip it underneath, and you can see right here, there's a little notch cut out of the plastic. That's where this little gimbal protrusion would slide into. So if we just do this, boom, see? So that'll keep the gimbal nice and safe uh, and it won't be jostling around as you're walking around, especially if you put this into a bag or something. And then we'll put the plastic gimbal cover right over and that protects the entire camera. Um, if you put some ND filters on, you don't actually have to take them off to put the gimbal back on. It'll fit. So there are a few other things uh, as a new Mavic owner that you might consider purchasing for your Mavic just to make it a little bit better, some accessories and that type of thing. Um, one of the things I always use with the Mavic Pro are these uh, Cinema Series Polar Pro neutral density and polarizer filters. So there's an ND8, uh, 4, 8, and 16 on that one. Oh. So that will help you darken your, your camera's image without having to raise your shutter speed. Awesome. Um, so I have a video out about that. For the filters right here, 
uh, if you want to use one. Make sure the drone is off so that you can hold on to the gimbal with two fingers. Take the ND filter and place it right on like that, very nice and, and, and gently. Don't force it on. To take it off, continue to hold onto both sides of the gimbal and don't, don't pull too hard. You might want to get used to how that feels to put it on and take it off without bending or torquing that gimbal too much. A lot of these products and, and the videos that I refer are going to be in the video description of this video. Um, I'm also going to show this case. So this is a hard shell case. Um, and then you also have things like this, which is a sun uh, hood, which will stop the sun from hitting your cell phone quite so much. Um, and of course, the Fly More combo comes with extra batteries and a charger hub. And here's the charger. So, um, you yeah, know, this is just a really great way to get started is to have a couple batteries. One other thing I really love to use with this controller is this bracket to protect the joysticks. So when you're putting this into a bag, you're not going to ruin your joysticks somehow. Also, I generally fly with low noise props. Um, we didn't today. These are just the stock props, but these uh, will allow you to fly a little bit quieter. Um, they also allow you to fly maybe a little bit longer because they're more efficient. So that's a good thing. Uh, so how often do you have to replace the props on this, Ed? Uh, basically, if you start to see some wear and tear, you know, you've been maybe uh, landing and hitting grass or something, you'll eventually start to see you're, you're getting a little nicks in your props. Um, but otherwise, you know, if they look okay and they sound okay, you're probably okay. But maybe every couple months, if you're really using the drone a lot, you just want to inspect those props. This here is also a fast charger for the Mavic. Um, it charges the batteries a little faster, but more than anything, it charges them simultaneously. So you can charge three batteries at one time, which is great. Um, the normal hub that comes with um, the Flymore combo can only charge one at a time. It has slots for four batteries, but it only charges one at a time, so it's not that fast. This will charge three simultaneously, which is awesome. Finally, to charge the remote, you have this connection. Uh, so it's a USB to micro USB, and you can then take this uh, micro USB to lightning cable that we installed earlier and plug in your charging cable and that's how you charge the remote. Awesome. Go ahead. Okay, so um, you know I signed up for the app, but what about the FAA registration? How do I do that? So because this drone has already been registered under my name, what I need to do is deactivate or cancel that registration with the FAA and then you would go on FAA Drone Zone website, which I can link in the video description as well and basically you register with the FAA yourself using the serial number of the Mavic. It costs $5 to do that, and then once you get that number, you affix it on the outside of your drone, uh, legibly, um, you know, on somewhere on the drone's body. I have it right underneath the drone. I usually put it right there, the flat part where it says DJI Mavic, and that's just a nice way to get it out of the way, but that's also a good way to make sure that the uh, registration number can be viewed from the outside of the drone, which is a new FAA requirement in the United States. Also, if any of you have questions about transferring Mavic ownership or getting started with the Mavic Pro or anything else that we've talked about today, go ahead and comment below and either me or someone else in the drone community will hopefully be able to answer you. So I am sorry to see my Mavic Pro go, but it had to happen at some point. And I'm glad that my friend Dart is uh, taking the reins. So yes, there it is. Hope you enjoy it, man. Thank you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you have if you have any questions about specific like accessories or stuff, more than likely I I made a video about it in the past. I have tons of videos that I've made for the Mavic Pro, like over 40. So I probably answered your question already. <laughs> cool. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Check the link in the video description, links I should say, to a lot of the stuff that we talked about here, um, the Mavic Pro, plus the accessories. Um, also check out edricker.com and you can see a list of all the DJI accessories that I use for this drone and other DJI drones I use in the past. Thank you so much for watching everybody and until next time, happy flying.